hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is evidence and in today's video i am gonna show you how to install docker in windows subsystem for linux and i'm gonna be following this documentation and i'm gonna put the link to this documentation in the description below so you can follow along too if you want to so to begin i'm going to open my Linux distribution. So I'm using Windows Terminal here. And the Linux distribution I'm using for Windows subsystem for Linux is Ubuntu. And I'll go ahead and close this. And I want to be in my home directory. All right. So CD tilde takes you back to your home directory. There's a possibility that you have older versions of Docker on your Windows subsystem for Linux. So you have to run this code first to make sure you uninstall old versions of Docker. All right. And just to show you upfront here, if I type in Docker, and then you see it tells you the command docker could not be found in this wsl2 distro all right so there's no docker in my windows subsystem for linux up front but still um, i'm gonna run this code why not so as you can see here i don't have any docker installed already so that's good so the next step is um to get updates all right so now that um, i have my update and um, the next step is to install the docker repository okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and i suggest you do the same just um, copy this whole line of code right here and then we're gonna do paste anyways and then we're gonna do enter and we're gonna do yes and i'm gonna copy all this code right here so this code uh all this code i'm gonna um, put all of it in the description below in a file so to make it easier for you to just copy and paste what you need so after you run this step we are going to add a docker gpg key so you can just go ahead and copy this right here all of it and then you paste it you press enter and then after you've done that okay um you are going to copy this depending on your operating system so if you go ahead here and type in system info As you can see here on my computer, I am using a x64 based PC. Okay, so just do this to find out the type of computer you are using. If you're using um, ARM HF, this is what you use. If you're using ARM64, this is the code for you. But I'm using um, x64. And so this is the code I'm gonna use. If you're using AMD64, that PC and um, that's uh, this is the code you use also and I'm using um, Intel we are gonna do paste anyways and then we're gonna click enter and then after we've done this then then we get to install the docker engine all right so we're gonna copy this case sudo apt get update and then we are gonna do sudo apt get install docker and we are gonna say yes and this might take a while to download as you can see it's about 28.3 megabytes and while this is downloading so you can also install um, different versions of docker engine depending on what you want and this is the code here to install different versions of the docker engine but i'm just gonna install the latest version available all right 
so basically this is done downloading so now we are going to test our docker installation and to test to see if our docker successfully run we are just gonna run this code right here and then you might get this error docker cannot connect to the docker daemon okay so if you get um, this error, make sure you have Docker downloaded on your Windows machine and make sure you have it running. All right, so let me go ahead and pull up Docker. Right there, Docker is starting up. All right, so this is my Docker engine. It is starting. It's not yet stable. All right, so Docker is all set up right now. So if you so if you're using Windows Subsystem for Linux to install Docker, you still need um, Docker on your Windows computer. All right, so after you install it, make sure you have Docker running, and then um, once you have Docker running, make sure you go to your settings, and then under resources you can see wsl integration okay as you can see and um, this is turned off now let's go back here and run this code again as you can see we are still getting that error message okay so this is critical like if you don't do this part it's not gonna work properly so make sure you go under resources ws integration and make sure you check this and then you do apply and restart All right, so now let's go ahead and run this code again. And just like that, it works. Okay, we were successfully able to install Docker and start the Docker engine. All right, so this right here is critical. Like if you don't enable this in your Docker settings for your window, for your Docker on your Windows computer, this is not docker is not going to work on your windows subsystem for linux distribution and this is a lesson I, I learned the hard way like i spent three hours trying to figure out why this is not working and eventually i figured out eventually i stumbled across this by accident so this step is critical to getting docker working and whenever you have uh whenever you're doing docker in windows subsystem for linux if you get this error message, make sure you have Docker on your Windows computer running first. All right. So after you, we have verified that Docker is working, as you can see, this is hello from Docker. After we verify that it is working, you can go to your regular Docker on your Windows machine. And then you can see right here that we have a new container. And we have a new image called Hello World. As you can see right here, this is this message that the same message that is printed on our terminal right here. All right, so now that we have verified that we have installed Docker successfully and Docker is working on Windows subsystem for Linux, um, there are a couple of things you can do. So you can um, change the group. So let me show you right here. If you click on this link, Linux post install, it's very small to see. Like I said, I'm gonna add all this link in the description, but this is the post installation process. And the reason why this is important is because right now I can't run Docker commands on Windows subsystem for Linux without using sudo. All right, so if I go ahead and try to run the above command again, you see it says um, permission denied. Okay, so you cannot run Docker on Windows subsystem for Linux without using sudo. Now, personally for me, I prefer to do sudo before running Docker just for security reasons. But if you want to run docker without doing sudo 
just a couple of steps you need to do and those steps are right here but before you take this step to remove pseudo uh, make sure you read this on docker demian attack and i'm gonna put this link in the description below too so you can kind of come here and read the potential consequences you can come kind of come here and read about the potential consequences of you know not using super user before docker so after reading uh, about the consequences you know and you're like yeah that's fine with me then this is what you need to do to remove um to be able to run docker without sudo so first you need to create a docker group and add it to your user so this is your docker group and then you add your user to the docker group right and after adding your user to the docker group um you need to log um back and log back out and log back in so basically what I, well, I did it on one of my computers and basically I had to like um, do a full restart for these changes to take effect. But once you do these two steps, you should be able to do Docker run hello world and be able to execute it without using sudo. All right. And... And also, um, uh, make sure you run this code new group Docker. Also, so you log back in and log, you log out and log back in, and then you run this code called new group Docker. And then you can try to verify again by doing Docker run hello world without using sudo to make sure that this works. But before you do this step, make sure you read this on the security risk of removing root user assets like anybody can use your docker in linux basically all right um that's pretty much it for this video that is how you install docker on windows in windows subsystem for linux that's how to install docker in windows subsystem for linux i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and if you like this video and found it helpful, please share it with somebody else who might also find it helpful. You can always visit me online at evidencen.com. This is my primary website where I have my data science blogs. And as time goes by, I'm going to add more, more stuff to my data science blogs. So that's evidencen.com. And once you are here, you can also click on free data science resources. And it will bring you to this page. And this is where I have um, different resources. So as I create um, data science YouTube videos, I, I end up with a lot of uh, tutorial notebooks. I have data sets and job search, resource, job search resources and free data science books. So right here in this platform is where I have all my data science resources. And also, if you sign up here, you can join my email newsletter. And every week, I try to send email, letting people know about what content, what technical content I created the previous week. So you can find all of that here at machinelearningeducation.com slash free. And also, you can support my work by going to machinelearningeducation.com. Right here, uh, you can click on this button, support my work. And you can support my work anywhere you see fit. No pressure at all. <laughs> but uh, you can come here at machinelearningeducation.com to support my work. And as time goes by, I might change this website a little bit. And if you come here and this is not here, this is not the main page anymore, rest assured um, the link to support me is going to be somewhere here on the menu. So just click on that to support me. That's it for this video. I hope you like it and I hope you solved your problem. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.